Okay, welcome to Turbo Bob's Bicycle Blog. This is my e-bike seminar here in uh, May 15th. Got a great turnout. Right now I've got Rhonda Martin telling about how e-bikes have changed your life. I just want to show you all the bikes. You done, Rhonda? <laughs> okay, well, I'm actually shooting a video of all the bikes right now. Rhonda just gave a really great talk. Is there anyone else that has an e-bike that wants to tell a little bit about what it's done to, to help them or what they think they like about it? Somebody with an e-bike, come up and talk a little bit. So we got Brian now. Brian's going to tell you a little bit. He's got this big cargo bike over here. Anybody had a car stolen? Uh, yeah. it, it, it really sucks, doesn't it? <laughs> <laughs> so this is where I'm at after uh, my first bike was just a thrift store bike that I had to ride after the car was stolen. And uh, I rode that bike for about a month. And I'm from Washington, and it's just the weather is so amazing down here. But after riding 10 miles and working for 10 hours on the Nimitz, and then riding 10, uh, 10 more miles into the Santa Ana winds up 400 feet, uh, I just didn't have any energy at the end of the day. So I did some Google searching, and I, I figured there's got to be a solution to this problem. Um, and it was electric bikes. And sure enough, this guy's, uh, you know, just a mile and a half away, Pat Winston with San Diego Electric Bike. And really enthusiastic, uh, great guy. He actually came and picked me up. And, uh, you know, we, uh, we got a, <clears throat> what was that first motor we put on there? It was a Wilderness, wilderness, en a wilderness <laughs> Energy, yeah. And so this is just, uh, this is my thrift store bike. It was a cool old Ross made in downtown Pennsylvania. It had nice components on it. So we got the, the motor on the front and put the battery on the back. Lead acid batteries, they're really heavy. Uh, they're cheap, but you know, the way to go is lithium iron phosphate. Um, and so I, I'm going with this, and this is like six years now. Uh, my dream was to get the cargo capacity so I can carry extra batteries and carry my son. He's 11, he lives with his mom in Washington, coming down again. And we've gone to SeaWorld on this thing and just all over the place. It's a lot of fun to, uh, you know, I, I, I see his shadow like this and I'm like, you're holding on, right? Well, that's a good question. I'll tell you what, this thing looks like this for a reason. <laughs> it's a little janky and I, and I don't want it to look really nice. I don't want someone to see it. You can take the battery with you. 